Hello again, Medley20 here, and welcome back to Art Talk. In my previous video, I addressed sort of the confidence and psychology that you should approach art with, and today I will talk more about the physical side of drawing. If you've gotten past the first step of confidence, next you'll want to work on your control and line quality. A lot of people rely too heavily on what John Clapp calls, oh shit lines. These are really sketchy tentative lines that look like the artist was constantly saying, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, while they were drawing them. How do you stop making these kinds of lines? Simple. Draw lines that reflect your confidence. Be reckless and draw lines that don't really make sense. Draw a person's face, but try to do the whole thing in a minute or so. Draw quickly and draw often so you teach your muscles to make smooth, quick lines in a single stroke. I recommend drawing on the backs of old flyers or on old newspapers so you feel less obligated to make it a perfect drawing. Have fun with it. Make all kinds of strokes. Short, cross-hatchy strokes, long, flowing strokes, jittery strokes, broken strokes. A good exercise is to try tracing over another artist's work to try to mimic their line work. Just make sure to give proper credit when posting it online and use their name. Credit to the original artist is not proper credit. Try picking up a brush pen if you want to experiment with different line thicknesses. Daiso is a really good discount store that carries all sorts of great merchandise for less than a couple bucks. They also sell brush pens in their art supply sections for really cheap. Pick one up, take it home, and experiment drawing with different pressures to see how different hand positions result in different thicknesses and qualities of line. Or if you don't want to pick up a brush pen, you can use a generic pen or a felt tip marker and just draw over the lines that you want to make thicker. Play with different line thicknesses. Usually, thicker lines are used to describe broad outlines, while thinner lines are used to draw details. Try studying the art used in Zelda titles that feature Toon Link for good visualization on how this works. Just draw like a metric fuck ton of things. Sheldon Borenstein likes to say that every artist starts out with 10,000 bad drawings in them. The more you draw, the faster you get those bad drawings out of your system. This also means that you need to be patient and allow yourself time to grow. Now, I don't mean let yourself stagnate, because that's not how you improve in art. If you let yourself stagnate, that just means that you've given up on trying to improve and have lost motivation. What I mean by allowing yourself time to grow is that you should keep yourself motivated and driven, but don't expect to see results after a week. Give yourself at least a couple months if you're really working hard before you start seeing visible results. Sometimes it's hard to see your own improvement, but after a couple months of work, look back at your stuff and you should see some improvement. What you should not see is a regression. If you look back at your old art and see that you used to be able to draw some things with confidence but you no longer possess that ability, it's a sign that you're going backwards. Now I don't mean things like, Oh, I used to be able to draw the sniper with anger and the birdman of Australia contrasts really well, but I don't remember where the lines go, because that's easily remedied by looking at a reference picture and going, Oh yeah, that's what it looked like. Now I can bust this drawing out no problem. I mean stuff like, Oh man, I used to be able to draw full-bodied people really confidently, but now I can only draw cheapy stuff. This is a sign that you're regressing. Practice working on those things until you're confident with drawing again, because regression won't fix itself. Anyway, that wraps it up for today. If you'd like to see these drawings being made in real time, feel free to check out my Twitch channel. I occasionally stream while I'm drawing, and I can also answer questions there as well. Be sure to be kind to yourself and to others, and remember that I love you guys. See you later! Woo!